Hello everyone, this is Megan Morris. I am here today to talk with you a little bit about how we can alleviate hip pain and soreness during pregnancy. It's a really common thing that we go through when we're pregnant. And there are a few ways that you can relieve it temporarily. There are a few things to know about hip pain so that you can avoid certain poses so you don't make anything worse. But to start, I'm just gonna show you a few things you can do at home. Um, if you go to a prenatal class, I'm sure it'll be in your sequence. And if you're a yoga teacher, maybe you can apply some of this stuff in your classes when you have a pregnant woman in your class. So one good thing for hip pain that you don't always think about as being good for it is bridge pose. So you're always looking up in bridge pose, drawing the shoulder blades together, tailbone down and lifting on up. And this can help to stabilize the SI joints, which are the joints on either side of your um, sacrum and the lowest part of your spine, just beneath your low back. And the reason that this can be helpful is if you are pregnant, immediately, as soon as you conceive, there's a hormone called relaxin that starts to circulate through the body. And it serves a great purpose for labor because it helps to loosen up all of your joints. However, in the process that can cause pain, especially hip pain and SI joint pain. And it kind of all works together in that area to create soreness. Another reason you might have soreness during pregnancy is because you're more accustomed now to lying on your side in bed. You're trying to train the body to do that. So that can make things uncomfortable. Also, we're just not always moving as much because we're not feeling as great all the time. So that can contribute to hip pain too. So another great thing you can do is from this variation of side plank, lift the leg up and flex that foot. That's gonna help strengthen the hip. And if you're feeling really ambitious, you can bend the knee, grab the foot and kick it back. And that's gonna to help to open the front of your hip. Make sure you do that on both sides. Another thing that you can do is simply sitting cross-legged sitting up as tall as you can. Inhale to reach up and keeping a long spine come forward. So we're trying to keep the belly really open, the spine really long. And then as you hinge forward, you'll start to feel your hips a little bit more. And again, make sure you change the crossing of your legs and do that on the other side. Of course, then we have our standard lunges that you can do standing. Um, you won't be able to see me once I stand up. This is kind of a tough angle. In fact, we can do it on our knees too. Um, definitely pad your knees when you're pregnant, but as long as your tailbone is down, abdomen back, you can start to bend that front knee and get a good stretch in the front of the hip. Again, both sides. Now, some things that you might want to avoid if you have piriformis syndrome, you want to avoid spending too much time in externally rotating hip openers like this. This might feel really good in the moment, but if you spend too much time or go too deep, you could be in pain later. So this is a good position for opening the hips, especially for labor, but if you have piriformis syndrome, which is kind of like sciatic pain right along back here, you'll want to avoid doing stuff like this too intensely, okay? That also goes for like warrior two, um, parsvakanasana, things like that. So just a few tips for you to take with you. Um, if you're interested in learning more about how to support pregnant women in your yoga class, I encourage you to take Child Light Yoga's prenatal yoga foundations training. We are coming to the yoga loft of Bethlehem in May, and we're also gonna, going to own baby yoga in Harrisburg in February. So check us out. Thank you. Namaste.